technology is affecting human life on a deeper level and at a faster and faster pace, as the singularity theory states. At this point in history, do you think technology and human evolution should be addressed as symbiotic or as independent partners? Will technology directly affect human evolution, natural selection and genetics? I, I do see, um, you know, it is a techno evolution uh, as a, to be a cyborg. Uh, I, I think the elements are that you need as a biological start. So I've got that. So I've got this first part of the cyborg. Then you need technology. Fine. You have quite a bit of that. But it needs to be integral in and with the body, particularly integral in and with the brain. So it is very much a technological enhancement. Um, there, there's then the evolutionary argument. Um, if, if I am technologically enhanced and here's an attractive female who is technologically enhanced and we have an offspring, will that offspring be more um, amenable to technological enhance, not that they will be born with electrodes sticking out of their head and so on, but that their brain and their body will be more amenable, more receptive, more ready for technological enhancements, but that's the critical thing. I believe, yes, from evolutionary research, uh, yes, I, but that's more a Lamarckian view on evolution. The, the, if you like, the, the tide generally, perhaps because of the influence of Cambridge on evolutionary theory at Cambridge University and Darwin, is, is more of a Darwinian approach, which is more, it, it's a purely genetic thing, and our habits, what we do in our lifetime, what we experience, doesn't affect um, the makeup of our offspring. I don't know that I believe that. It, it has a hundred percent. I go along that it has maybe a ninety-nine point nine nine percent effect on things, probably. But the important point is allowing for that zero point zero one percent of being altered, affected in some way by what happens to you in your lifetime, and if you have experience new sensory input if you've experienced new communication and so on and so forth because of a technological implant then i would believe that some aspect of that would then be passed on uh, to your children potentially in a, in a genetic way and that they would be more susceptible more amenable to the technological enhancement which then they would in turn pass on to their children and so on so we do get a, a biological evolutionary aspect to cyborgization to post-humanity it does become a, a a different species ultimately 